it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. I hope wherever you guys are at today, I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. And I hope you have a yummy tea or a cup of coffee ready because today's tour, you're definitely going to want to sit down for, take a sip of coffee and just really enjoy. I'm so excited to be welcoming Shannon here today from My Little White Barn on Instagram. She has a beautiful feed full of just beautiful pieces of decor, decorating ideas, and so much more. So you guys are definitely going to enjoy today's tour. If you guys need any inspiration for your guys' home, I'm gonna link a bunch of amazing small shops in the description box down below if you guys wanna support them. Um, not all of them know that I'm sharing them, but I think it'd be so much fun to just share the love and spread the news about these small shops. So without further ado, let's welcome Shannon here today and let's go ahead and tour her home. Hi, welcome to our home. I'm gonna take you on a tour of a few of the rooms in our, what we like to call fixer upper, but I'm gonna start with my front porch. When we bought this house, I fell in love with the front porch and I love decorating it for the seasons and adding all my fun vintage goods in between. It's a really great space to decorate and I have a lot of fun with it. I love that it's so pretty and big enough for me to decorate as you enter into our home. It's the first thing you see when you enter into our home. So I adore it. When you first walk in and you look to the left, you'll immediately see a view of our large farmhouse table. I actually found that thrifting and painted it and redid it myself. I also found those beautiful cane back chairs last year, painted those and recovered them and I think they just finished off the look of that table. It's large and perfect for our family. When you walk past the table, you'll immediately walk into our kitchen. We, when we decided to fix up this house, one of the first things that we did was add the new countertops, but we kept our original cabinets and added that vent hood. Our kitchen is small, but certainly suits its purpose for our family, and I love it. It's where I do spend most of my time. And because I spend so much time in the kitchen, I love that you can see into the family room from our kitchen. I love that our home has an open floor concept and that you can pretty much see what's going on from the kitchen or the dining room. When you walk back into our family room, you'll see that we have these beautiful beams. We were fortunate that those came with the house and all we had to do was refinish them. We did add the shiplap, and as you can see, I added a few fun vintage doors that I found. This one I found on the Facebook Marketplace and we hung it on a sliding door and it suits the space perfectly. Over our fireplace, unfortunately, we do have to add our TV, but I hide the cords by using these vintage books and spindles and I think it looks adorable. Make sure you're following along on my blog and my Instagram because I'll be updating this space soon and getting a new couch. From our family room, you can enter into our office. And it's a perfect spot for my husband to work, but yet he can still see the family in the family room and actually watch TV. But we recently added this brick wall to our office and I am obsessed with it. I love how it finished off this room and it was pretty easy to do. In the back of the house is my youngest daughter's room. Um, actually though, she went to college two years ago, so I've slowly been transforming it into looking like the rest of the house because it is actually my favorite room. It's white and bright. It's the brightest room in the house. Next to that room is my craft room. And today I'm only going to show you this half of the craft room because unfortunately I'm a really messy crafter and you probably don't want to see that mess today. You can see that I love bunnies. And if you notice throughout the rest of the house, I have them and I do keep them up all year. They're not necessarily Easter bunnies. They're just hairs that I like. Here's another room in the house. We use this room as a guest room. We 
I don't have guests very often, but it's nice to have the extra room. Now we move on to the master bedroom. This used to be the garage, but the previous owners converted it to the master bedroom, so it's really large, and I love it. As you can see, our little fur baby likes to sit right in front of the window. This light fixture I found on the Facebook Marketplace also, and it just added the extra touch to this room that I needed. And lastly, here's our back porch. We recently just transformed this back porch, added the brick floors, and increased the ceiling to make it higher. It is a great place for us to entertain and hang out, and we love having it. It really is, like I said about my front porch, an additional room in our house because that's how much we use it. Make sure you're following along and watch to the end of this video and I'll show you a few pictures from my garden over the summer. Have a great day. A big thank you to Shannon for opening up her stunning home. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration. Don't forget to check her out on Instagram and I will see you guys later on Living in Country. Bye.